y'all. Thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week, and I really hope your week is better than the guy that brought in this steel MS290 to the shop this week. Like I said, we get over 2,000 pieces of equipment every single year, and I see this happen to chainsaws a lot, and I feel like if I tell you this little secret, it might save you time, money, and frustration in the future. Now, when he brought it in, he said he bought it from a person, offline used, and he thought it was a good deal. It would start, it would run, he took it home, tried to cut with it, and it would only last about one to two minutes till it got hot, and it would die in the wood and would not restart. Now, I know what you're thinking. You think it's the coil, but it's not. And stay tuned, because you're gonna find out exactly how screwed up this chainsaw really is. Before we take it outside and start it up though, I wanted to stop and give a huge thank you to everybody. We just hit 37,000 subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, watching the videos, your shares. Y'all are so amazing. I cannot thank you enough. It did take a few pulls to start, but it runs. And for all intents and purposes, if I was doing a quick sale with somebody, I would think that this is a good quality piece of machinery and I would probably buy it. But I know about some of this, so I would go ahead and go a little further checking things. All right, just for giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and put the compression tester on it and see what it comes out at. I'm shocked. It's got 130 pounds. Now when buying a used piece of equipment, I don't expect you to be carrying around a compression tester, a vacuum tester, all that kind of stuff. But what you can do is at least bring a spark plug tool so you can pull the spark plug, take a flashlight, look inside the cylinder and see what's going on because you can tell a lot about a machine from what the cylinder looks like. If there is still cross thatching, that is the best possible thing that could, it could have and it's still in good shape. If it's real dull inside, you know that it's pretty wore out, but if it has up and down scratches, that is not good. So the only way you're gonna be able to really tell is to look inside. No. So unfortunately, the customer didn't do any of this. He purchased the saw for about $100 and he got screwed. Now. I am gonna go a little bit further than just taking a look inside the cylinder. I'm breaking out my HD endoscope. Now I did a video on this before when I was putting in, I think some studs into a chainsaw, but if you do not have one of these, they are just the coolest, coolest little gadget ever. And they're cheap. This one I think was 30 bucks. I'm gonna put a, uh, a link in the description box below so you can get your own if you'd like, but there's more expensive ones that take better pictures, but this is really all I need. And it's super, super easy to use. You can hook it up to your phone, your tablet. Um, you'll just go to your Wi-Fi settings and turn it on and it'll uh, show HD endoscope. You click on that, you can go back to the app, hit play, and you're already you know, working this little camera right here. It's got a light adjustment if you want to uh, turn the light up to get into those little nooks and crannies and see stuff. And it is just super awesome. So while we're doing it here, I'm going to video record looking inside the cylinder and let y'all see what's going on. All right, so I've removed my plug and I got my little scope here going. Um, I've got the light all the way up and we're just gonna go inside here and ooh, right off the bat. Look at all of that. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Nope. Let's check out this other side here. Oh, 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 yeah. This thing is definitely seen some heat. All right, so let's pull the muffler and see how really bad it is. 
Ooh. That is bad. So that's it guys. It could have compression. It could run really great in the beginning, but if you don't look into that cylinder and find out what you're buying, you can get completely screwed. So hopefully after this video, I can save you time, money, and frustration. So if you would please give me a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Also, please comment. I love reading through the comments. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash chicanic and on Instagram at the real chicanic. And also I just started my new website. So please find us at chicanic.com. Thanks y'all so much for all the subscriptions. 37,000 y'all rock. Have a great day.